What's going on guys and welcome back to Farmer on the Prairie. So today we're doing something a little bit different. My dad has a cousin named Todd and Todd was not able to harvest his beans back when we were because he farms a little bit more than we do and he did get a couple fields done about a month ago but it finally got fit again and he has 600 acres of beans left well for any of you who know especially combining in mid to late november that's a lot of beans short days can't really get it done so we have a larger combine than we need and my brother does too so we both took our combines over there and we've had three combines running for the last two days uh, on friday we started i think we got 140 acres done 130 or 140 started to get like four o'clock in the afternoon um there was one cart that day then we came with a third combine yesterday which was saturday and we got a third combine and a second grain cart we were able to get quite a bit i'm not exactly sure the number of acres because i wasn't helping until later yesterday evening i ran the grain cart for a while and now today i'm going over dad is going to be planting cover crops so i'm going to go over jump in the combine and help with beans get the third combine rolling and hopefully we can get them almost done with beans today hopefully probably gonna be a late night we'll see how much is left for us to do but anyways we're gonna get going and i'll take you guys along Okay, we're in the combine now. Got all the monitors fired up and set. I'm gonna head out for the field. See you guys there. All right, we are out here in the field now. I'm moving along pretty good. And we're just, ooh, that's all the head shatter over there. We're just uh, getting a lot done. So my brother decides 7088 is over on the far side of the field. Uh, Todd is in the middle with his 7240 and then we're over here taking off this side with a 2588. Probably won't be very long until we're done with this field and then we're going to move on to other ones though. Got a grain cart coming in hot. off in the distance one of the carts and a combine and then behind that is another combine and another cart we're just boogieing right along though making some good tracks so we're out here having fun today it's kind of fun when your own stuff's done but well there's some other people that weren't done Honestly, it's been extremely challenging this fall to get a, a good stretch of weather, sometimes to get one day. But uh, now we've had a bunch of days, a good stretch of weather. And my cousin had quite a few acres of beans to do and some corn. So I came over the other day and we started, let's say, Friday evening. Um, and my son got his combine fixed, there's his head, and he came yesterday. So we came, so we had three three machines running. So between us, we had 90 feet of head going down through the field. So it's kind of fun. You get a lot of acres knocked out in a hurry. We had two auger wagons, two semis, uh, two 
sets of Brent 740s. Two augers going into two bins. So we were putting beans away at a rapid rate. So that's kind of fun. So Dad came real quick. He's not going to be running the combine anymore today. Uh, basically, he just came because I wanted to fly the drone, and it is really hard to fly the drone and combine at the same time. But we also wanted to have all three combines running while we're doing it. So, hopefully, it'll look cool. It's something that, you know, even the guys here uh, helping can watch and think it looks cool. So, we'll put it together and see what it looks like. I've done 12 acres in this field so far because we got here kind of late. Those guys had already started. Todd started last night, but uh, we've all got about five minutes till we're done with the field, maybe four or five minutes, and then take our heads off and move to the next one. Okay, Josiah over there has about 200 feet left, and then he's wrapped up. I'm wrapped up, just got a dump, and then you can see over there behind me, Todd is also done dropped the heads and now I'm heading down the road. We're gonna split up now. Uh, Josiah and I are going south of town along with Todd's son, Colin, and the auger carp. And then the rest of them are heading up to north, you know, about 10, 15 miles the other direction to get a field that then they have to travel on further and switch back over to corn. So after an interesting turn of events, we went from having two combines we're going to be pulling into a field to me breaking off a pioneer coupler or breaking a pioneer coupler when i was hooking up the head dad came got me a new one that's fine josiah combined about a half acre and broke his sickle like the sickle cutter bar broke in half so he's down for probably an hour so i'm going to pull in this field and get started update i'm the only combine running in this field right now because josiah is still working on fixing his sickle uh the beans are down really bad and worst of all it is a muddy mess so this could get interesting as the night goes on and i think we're still going to try and finish this tonight so let's see could be a late night with 
lots of fun involved. Oh, the side is going. Sweet. I just turned the corner and saw he's rolling now. That's good. Now as long as I can keep from getting stuck. The situation's deteriorated rapidly. What you gotta say about that, Ben? It's a mess. Okay guys, situation update. I was about four inches from touching the belly of the combine on the ground, but thankfully I hadn't touched the belly yet. They were able to pull me out fairly easily. I'm gonna dump my load and we're gonna call it a night because it's gonna be hard to tell what's wet or not. It's hard enough in the daylight. Just emptying out my tank now. Gonna go ahead and call it a night. It's only like 5.30 though, kind of stinks, but hey. Could have been worse, the combine's fine, and we're gonna go up and park it. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up today. I don't know if we'll be able to go to a different spot in that field and still be of assistance, or if Todd's just gonna have to do it because he has a mud hog on his combine. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.